Aha! Here we are! Sessions number two with Mr. Sal Hassan, BSN sponsored athlete, and myself, Nick Bracken, Optimum Nutrition sponsored athlete. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so what are we doing here? So today, uh, well, to, actually, this was a night session. This was uh, a late night session. It was kind of, kind of good. Yeah, it was a. Uh, we decided to hit back, um, and uh, and that right there is my lovely wife Bree joining us for a bit of for a bit of warm ups with the uh, with the close grip pull ups, and uh, and yeah, obviously her her form can be a little bit better, but she's one strong mama. Um, just to give you guys an idea, and we will eventually prove it. Um, her personal best on deadlifts thus far, conventional style deadlifts thus far, is 120 kilos. 120 kilos for a for a woman who's only 60 kilos is uh, is quite impressive. Uh, we're working on it, but um, she's unfortunately lost quite a fair bit of strength through. Not being able to train as much and uh, and doing her other stuff, but yeah. So, but let me just cut in. How good are those shoes? Bought these new Nike kicks, and uh, and they are epic. They're the uh, they're the Zoom, the Speed Zoom Nikes, and uh, yeah, man. Like, look, I, I'm just all of a sudden I'm just quick as hell. Watch this. Here it comes. Watch this. <laughs> Oh, look at that form, speed form. So anyway, what we're doing there, that's basically, it's a pendlay row, a barbell pendlay row from the rack. One of the, uh, the better um, back movements, uh, or back exercise movements you can be doing. You can do it in various ways, you can do dumbbells, you can do it from the floor, um, you can do it snatch group pendlay. Um, there's so many different ways to do it. So yeah, these are just a warm-up set. We did, um, I think it was 20 kilos. Um, just warm up, get the get the feel for it, and then we can then we start getting into it. And uh, look at Sal's form; yeah, it's pretty tidy. I'll give him that. Quick shout out to the guys at On Footwear as well. The shoes that uh, Sal's wearing there, man, I love those things. If you ever get a chance, go and check them out. On Footwear, they're just crazy good. Anyway, so this is the first set. First set for me was uh, 20, 40 kilos. And I believe it was a slight pause at the bottom. About a one to two second pause. And we were uh, aiming to do six to eight reps on every set. I believe we went for four, four sets. So, um, yeah, I thought they were pretty good numbers. I mean, probably my best on something along the, on, on, on this exercise would probably be close to a hundred kilos um, so I didn't get anywhere near um, PB on one of these but all good though but Sal's making me look weak as all hell again uh, so any problem training with with this guy is he just makes you feel inadequate so I think I'm gonna stick to training with my wife but in saying that she also makes me feel inadequate, considering her deadlifts are almost better than mine, but that's that's all good. Um, yeah, so once again, we're back to pedalets. I'm sorry, diverting a bit there. Um, big squeeze in the back here from the big fella. From the back, I reckon he looks like Rolly Winkler. Then you guys, Rolly? After that, we went basically into this variation of a seal row. Sal taught me this in this, uh, in this workout. Man, I love this exercise. You can see that I'm actually using the back of the press machine directly into my chest to, to prevent any excessive body English and actually allow me to really contract through my lats during that squeeze. The biggest thing I did there was actually focusing on making sure that I was controlling that negative as well. Um, by doing that, it, it was just, man, the load on my lats was ridiculous. I thought it would be a smart ass after that and do a superset. Just do some close grip chins. And uh, if you want to learn how not to do chins, just watch this clip. Uh, 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 nah, just average. Here we go, one full rep. Nah, just absolute disgrace. Never do that again. Nick, that was terrible. <laughs> 
As you can tell here, Sal's uh, positioning of his body is slightly different. Um, he is using his hands via the under underarm grip portion of that machine there, uh, which I believe is actually a chest press machine um, by all accounts. I could be wrong. And you're noticing that he's actually coming from outward to inward. So the machine is allowing him to really control that contraction at the, uh, at the end part of that exercise. It is really good. It's like a seated row, but more like a seal row, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't. I said to Sal that uh, we should do uh, close grip chins because uh, we won't fail. As you can tell, he didn't listen to me and decided that assisted wide grip pull-ups would be better. I probably should have listened to him. Uh, definitely a wiser choice by the big fella. Um, that, that's a cool exercise as well. Assisted pull-ups, very underrated. Oh man, this exercise. If I could pick one exercise that I wish I learnt earlier and found out earlier, it would be this bad boy right here. Taught to me by the one and only Mr. John Meadows. Uh, if you don't know about John too much, John is uh, an insanely good bodybuilder, comes from America, and uh, he's the cre creator of the Mountain Dog uh, based training methods. Uh, just superstar, uh, really like him. He's also a massive powerlifter as well, and an exceptional bloke. Um, so, it's a variation of a T-bar row. Um, the idea here is to not come outward too much with your elbow because you will be using too much of your rear delt. So um, your positioning is really all dependent on your... Look at that tricep. Like it's... Uh, Sal Hassan. Boost. Those striations, man. So your positioning will all be dependent on the structure of your body. Um, John himself actually prefers to come over a little bit more. So he's actually coming towards his hip, very similar to how Sal's doing it here. My positioning, I actually prefer to have my feet closer. So by having my feet closer, look at that, Rolly Winkler, a.k.a. Sal Hassan, superstar, absolute beast. Give this guy some credit. Mr. Universe, for those who don't know who Sal is, he's a Mr. Universe, and uh, this dude at the moment is six weeks post-competition, maybe a little bit longer. Um, he's just unreal. Like, the condition that he is in at the moment is amazing. So back to the, the amazing Meadow Row. Look at that kid miring. Sorry, but that kid is miring hard. I don't blame you, buddy. We all do it. Pwah. Them bicep peaks, them bicep peaks. So the meadow row is is just an exercise that I believe should be a compulsory exercise for everybody in their routine. If you want triceps like that, probably don't do meadow rows. Just focus more on tricep stuff. <laughs> but as you can tell here, Sal is uh, really controlling that motion, really squeezing at that upper portion of the exercise as he comes down. It's a fully controlled contraction, guys. Don't be dependent too much on that um, arm that is um, keeping balance. If you start to sway too much, then uh, we're not doing the exercise too well, so keep at it. The, uh, the lovely Rachel, Sal's lovely other half, Rachel. She's just finished competing. Look at those guys. <laughs> They come out. She's shredded at the moment. She just competed at the WBFF Australia, and uh, she's awesome. Her physique is ridiculous, and uh, and not only that, she's coming back from having two to three years worth of uh, terrible hormonal damage um, and metabolic damage, guys. So get in touch with her. She's awesome. If you have any questions, girls, relating to the difficulties that you may be having due to bad dieting methods, etc., get in touch with her. I'm going to link her below in the description, and uh, she is awesome. Look at them peaks by the big sow. Them cows. If you don't know, Sal and I absolutely love skinny cows. Easily our favourite uh, uh, dessert treat. They are just delicious. Another awesome variation of a lat pull down. Um, you're doing a full repetition with a half repetition and then coming all the way to your chest, as you can tell. You don't have to go all the way to your chest. You can go to your jaw as well. So we're just going to the half a rep, squeeze, 
full wrap, squeeze, and so forth until you get your desired um, sets uh, and repetitions, I should say, sorry. So we did roughly about four, four to six sets of this and, uh, and actually found that it was brutal. Four to six sets of 12 to 15 repetitions. We were absolutely done after this. This is an unreal finisher. I'm not lifting heavy whatsoever here and I just, as you can tell, I'm hurting. So then the south, big south screens out five more and uh, I get to get my game face on and uh, those fiery straps just uh, somehow make me uh, that little bit stronger. So, and uh, yeah, so the, the last portion of this amazing back routine, as you can tell, we did a crap load of volume. We decided to do the hammer strength seated rows and just finished up on three sets of 12 to 15. Um, really allowing uh, as much blood to get into the body. Whoa, men's physique pose. And yeah, guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this. I, I, I can't thank you guys enough for all the feedback uh, and the communication we've had since we've started the, set, the session series. It's been absolutely awesome. We have so much more to come, guys. Like, we're going to be releasing a Q&A with Sal. Sal and I are going to be doing a lot of voiceover-based stuff. So please, guys, it's up to you. Let us know what you think you want. Hit the, the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. And we got more coming to ya.